So hummingbird bioscience uh, discovers and develops new uh, transformative antibody therapies uh, for uh, hard to treat indications, including oncology uh, and autoimmunity. And since the beginning of 2020, we have been part of a consortium effort uh, to address the COVID-19 pandemic. So Hummingbird 115 is our new experimental antibody treatment. This is a type of therapy called a neutralizing antibody. And what these are designed and developed to do is to uh, block the infection in its tracks. So you can picture this as building a wall around the virus inside our bodies so it can no longer contact with our cells and then we can stop that cycle of infection. Okay, so this sounds almost as if it's not a replacement for a vaccine because the question then becomes, I mean, how long does that impact last when it comes to tackling the virus? I mean, do you see it as a placeholder until vaccines become more widely distributed? How would you describe it? Sure, I think that's a, that's a great question. Um, in my opinion, the key to tackling this global pandemic is building an arsenal of options, both preventative, like vaccines, and treatments for people who have COVID-19, uh, like antibody therapies. And so Hummingbird 115 will be a really important uh, option to add to that arsenal for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's, uh, it will be a safe and effective option for people like you or I, if we get COVID-19 before there's a vaccine available and we are one of the unfortunate ones who may develop a severe form of the, the, the disease and need to get a treatment. Uh, but beyond that, when a vaccine is widely available, we still don't know what uh, age groups and what risk groups will benefit most from the vaccine. So Hummingbird 115 will be a great option for people who maybe don't respond to the vaccine or who can't take the vaccine due to some underlying health condition. Sure. Uh, Jerome, good morning. Can we joining in this conversation? Where are you in the development process? Sure. So uh, as, a, as I think you mentioned at the start, um, last month we started a small scale uh, human trial here in Singapore. The aim of this trial is to confirm that the antibody therapy is both safe and effective in a small number of patients. And then uh, towards the end of the year, we are confident that we will be able to expand the human trials out to these large phase three trials, both in Singapore and in other countries that will be able to bring this um, potentially life-saving treatment to as many people as possible. Uh, so we're aiming for uh, early 2021 for widespread accessibility of this therapy to patients.